Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ryobi OPT 1845 cordless pole hedge trimmer. This hedge trimmer is part of the Ryobi OnePlus range, which is a wide range of cordless DIY tools, and includes things like drills, sanders, etc. Uh, the beauty of them is that the batteries are interchangeable, so you've only got to buy one or two. Most of the range is sold without a battery or charger, which uh, significantly reduces the cost. The batteries attached to the bottom of the tools, very easy to remove. There's two lugs, one either side, push them in and then slide it out. Okay, it's an 18 volt lithium battery as you can see. This is actually a generic one, which I got off Amazon. Um, it's considerably cheaper than buying the Ryobi batteries. To fit the battery, it's really simple. Just clip it into the bottom. Realistically, for a DIY enthusiast, you're only really going to need two, maybe three batteries at the most and a single charger. Total length of the hedge trimmer with the extension pole fitted is 293 centimetres or just over 115 inches. You can actually add another extension pole if you've got one. Um, so I've got a pole saw um, and that will add another 90 centimetres or best part of three feet. To put that into context, this should give you an idea of how long 293 centimetres is. Okay, you can see that you can get considerably more reach than you would with a normal hedge trimmer. Now the downside of using a hedge trimmer this long is the weight of it. You can pick it up quite easily with one hand, but when you're holding it from one end it can become quite unwieldy. It is however much lighter and easier to handle than my old Ryobi petrol hedge trimmer. As well as being lighter, the electric hedge trimmer is also much quieter. So you, you don't have to mess around starting it at all, you don't need to prime it. Um, you've got lower running costs because you don't have to buy petrol. And the other big downside of using the petrol hedge trimmer was it used to get very, very hot. So I've burnt my arms a couple of times after using it for an extended period of time. If you don't need the full nearly 10 foot length, you can take the central section out and that will reduce the weight. To remove the central section, screw just below the head and then pull that out and then do the same thing at the bottom end of the extension. You can then attach the hedge trimmer to the handle in the same ma manner to connect the two sections together. This gives you a total length of just over two meters, I think it's 203 centimeters or six foot eight, which I find personally is long enough for the vast majority of the jobs that I do. It also makes the um, head trimmer much, much easier to handle. There is an adjustable shoulder strap which clips on here and here. Um, so when you're using that, that does take some of the weight off your arms. You can also adjust the, the angle of the hedge trimmer relative to the pole by pressing this grey button here. And it'll go from that angle which it's not square, but not far off. To that angle there. Being able to change the cutting angle like this obviously makes it easier to cut along the tops of hedges. Yeah, so to operate it, really, really simple. You just need to depress the two triggers on the handle at the same time. We hear from that demo, it's not particularly loud. Um, Ryobi's claim it's got an operating volume of 95 decibels, which compares very favourably with the 113 decibels from my old petrol hedge trimmer. There is a noticeable difference between the two. So let's see if it's any good. So this is the hedge we're going to cut today. It's about seven foot tall and looking at it, it's nearly as wide. Um, it's not been trimmed at all this year. I mean, we're now at the start of June. Um, I do tend to leave it just in case there's any birds nesting in there. So if there's any fledglings in there, they should have gone by now. So it's time to give it a good trim. 
as you can see it's quite um, a mixed edge this one there's a bit of everything in here including some holly so it should be a good test for it we're going to start by taking some off the sides before we even think about taking the height off it You can see it didn't struggle with any of that. Now, there's nothing particularly thick in here, but there is. There are one or two branches, such as where's it gone? This one down here, which is about the same thickness as my finger. Obviously, you don't want to watch me cutting a hedge for 30 minutes, so we'll come back later and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, so there we go, finished. Let's scan around here, and this is a view from the front. You can see it's a lot tidier than it was. So, in conclusion, is the Ryobi cordless head trim, hedge trimmer any good? In my opinion, yes, definitely. Um, I'd certainly recommend it. It's much, much easier to use than my old petrol hedge trimmer. Um, it's quieter, it's lighter. I've had this for about two years now and it's done everything I've managed to throw at it. So, I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. See you soon.